we're starting Kirby. We're starting. Yeah. This is like I'm doing this on purpose because like I feel like this is the way you start a reading, right? Yep. Uh, rather than just like starting with, um, I don't. Know. I'm just gonna read some poems from this book. Uh, Vancouver does not taste like Calgary. How to start writing about any city? Is it anything like living somewhere when you don't feel so welcome? A shitty question. When structures benefit you, though they never feel too beneficial. When rent is cheaper inside the couple form, or when work involves constantly bootstrapping, all the slack anxiety of comfortable precarity. What does that ad say across the street? Pocketed deep inside the doors at Hastings and Howe? Luxury never makes anyone beautiful. They're debating view cones at the edge of the upcoming civic election. Whether seeing the mountains is an amenity if the developers near the stadium keep their word about building 1,800 units of social housing, unlike the rug pull of Olympic Village, where they felt the sudden luxury of all that prime waterfront real estate unlocking like the tides through Sunak were gulped by Vancouver's swallowing growth. Managing Vancouver's postcard view is a hell of a tough question when you scoff at privileging sight lines, but also love that view down Maine, even if it raises property values. Some places you can only see mountains hitting the crest at Glenmore and Blackfoot. Is that good? Is that good? That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd uh, like to hear more. Yeah, I'm going to read some more. Okay. Uh, the economic case for tackling loneliness. What is the mode of writing best suited to mapping the social? I used to think about recombination, which is really the kind of appropriation where you turn the oil into cool with. How many cars have passed by in the last minute? How many stopped at the stop sign? How much gas burned idling in the cold? What's in their tape deck? iPhone, etc. Who was it spit against this window? How many days to wait until you complain about a shipment that hasn't arrived yet? That book I've been waiting for, how many hands has it passed through? That's a pretty silly question to ask about global logistics as they play intimately. When Laura sings, oh my dear, it's only love that keeps us here. I want so badly to believe it, but it's hard when the city form can't imagine life outside sex and work. Shit, in my most cynical moments, what is here if not structure on the move? What would Marx say about that? Something about capitalist totality holding us together. After all, emergence doesn't feel like much in the belly of development gone wild. But also, it's just hard to ask someone, hey, do you want to imagine new forms of social intimacy without it coming off as a pickup line? We're good? Yep, we're okay. good. We're good. Okay. All of our work is becoming more complex. Walking down West Georgia on the north side, across the street, TELUS's window celebrates pride by celebrating their expansive LTE network. Love is the greatest connection. A block down another slogan, courtesy of West Bank, across from the VPL central branch. Culture reflects society. Is this the best we can do? Our relations and affects only grist for the ongoing millwork of value generation? I turn the corner at Beatty, heading to Anahita's reading at 8 East, an art space in Chinatown, formerly Selectors Records. They've replaced the BC history mural with something by a group of indigenous artists, which is great. But what happens to this piece when the new VAG goes up in the mural adjacent parking lot? Will they build up around it like the King Edward Hotel in Calgary? Now the fabled blues venue only a cornerstone for the development of the East Village, folded into Studio Bell near the new library. How are we doing for time? 
I think we're going to do one more. One more? Uh, let me see which one I want to do. But Let's just do, do this one. Let's, Let's do this one. one. Let's do this one. <laughs> With the, with the classic uh, John Denver title. Uh, it keeps changing fast. It doesn't last for long. Waiting for the 72 circle route, I chat with a local about the C-Train extension into Ogden and the expectation of condo development, like the pockets around the SkyTrain, the resistance against the viaduct in Strathcona, the way Calgary's roads meet Vancouver's buildings. On the 24, driving past the site of the Shamrock Hotel, recently demolished, though they saved the hotel sign, like the Lido in Kensington, the Cecil downtown, as if, as if texture were a form of memory. All these ghosts of relations past, just steam pouring off the wastewater on the 24, heading north on Ogden Road, past the yeast smell of the distillery. It's all so 1970s, isn't it? or 1990s, or 1950s, or whenever. Did you know about the residential school where the Calf Road Bridge is now, just south of the Bonnie Brook plant on the north side of the Bow? That's where this article places it anyway. I found it in the VPL stacks downtown. <laughs>